Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and I've got a tutorial that was, was requested of me on how to edit the Milky Way. So I went out and shot this photo uh, uh, very early one morning, it's the start of the Milky Way season here in Australia and um, this is me holding a torch up to the Milky Way and I'm going to show you how to get it from something like this to something like this and really really making it pop and stand out. So first thing I'm going to do is similar to a lot of my photos is I'll reduce my highlights and decrease my sh shadows a little bit normally I'd increase them um, and then I'm going to hold the option key click up a little bit and drag so I've got a few little white spots showing I'll probably bring that down a bit more so we've got, a, got it a bit more like that I'm going to do the same with the blacks bring it down so it looks pretty dark at the moment and I'll leave it about like that but then I'll come here and I'll go to effects and then see how we've got this mist in the sky here sometimes that looks good sometimes not so much so in this one I'm going to just increase the dehaze slider and you can see how much of, of an effect that this really has so that's what it was at when it started and I'm going to bring it down to something more like this so you can see that beam of light going up you can see the core of the Milky Way and I'll show you how I, how I enhance that a little bit too uh, so I'll enable my profile corrections because I was using a Samyang 14mm f2.8 which absolutely fantastic lens and there you go so um, you do have to enable profile corrections because it does get quite distorted um, but it's really brought out the lightness down here and uh, up here it's got uh, the Milky Way in that nice formation so I'll hit remove chromatic aberration as well what I might do is I might just increase that dehaze a little bit more again yeah I think I'll stick to about 67 on that um, that's just because I want that sky really dark and I want to get rid of uh, a bit of that mist in the sky um, so I can really bring this out because that is obviously the core of the subject. Now I'm going to increase the clarity a little bit. Uh, you can see what that does. So I'm going to increase it to about 30. And you can zoom in. And you can see the clarity in the stars. Now there is quite a bit of noise. Um, but this was shot at 3200 on a Canon 6D. So um, I've got the stars pretty well sharp in there. Which I'm happy with. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance. So it makes those colors pop a bit more and then I'm going to get my adjustment brush now this is where the real magic of a lot of Milky Way photos happen and that's in the adjustment brush so I'm going to make the brush slightly bigger increase the feather so I'll probably take that all the way to 100 I've got flow and density 87 and 90 um, probably increase that just a little bit there I can adjust as I go along so what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the highlights I'm going to put a little bit of a warmer tone in there and it only needs to be a little bit and a little bit more of that magenta tone then I'm going to increase the clarity and as I click over Milky Way you can see it really starts to pop so that is way too much magenta and way too much warmth and I'll increase the highlights so it makes it stand out more and brings out more of that depth to it. Um, it probably still is a little bit purple. I'd, actually, I probably don't even need to add any magenta into there. Um, I'll add a tiny bit more warmth. Let's say about five. That'll do. Um, and clarity, you can adjust this to bring out more or less of that detail if you really want to you could dehaze on that but it doesn't look that good um, I've probably done the highlights a little bit so I can add some contrast and that differentiates it a little bit more I might take that down a smidgen actually just like that um, so just can't seem to get this color right at the moment in this one so that's how it looks without any color adjustments to it um, I may just add 
all it needs to be is very subtle. So I'll do about three there, and maybe two here. And really, it doesn't do a lot in the color, but if I turn it on and off, you can see how it makes it stand out so much more uh, in your shot. Um, you can increase the white. So there we go, that makes it a little bit brighter again, um, which is quite nice. But when you do this, because you've got a big soft feather, you want to make sure that you don't spill out too much onto these areas. Um, so if you go overlap, you can sort of see this big weird line that goes through the sky. So I'm going to erase that. There we go, that's erased. So you can see now that I've used the adjustment brush, this really pops out in the sky. Um, and that is the image how I had it uh, when I first when I did my first edit and then I reset this one and brought it out to look like this compared to what it was um, compared to what it was at the start when you saw that. So that's pretty much it. It's very basic. Um, I've got a little bit of vibrance. It doesn't take long at all to edit one of these Milky Way photos. Um, and they can come out looking really, really spectacular. Um, I could probably crop in on this on the bottom a little bit if I wanted to, but I, I like the composition the way that it is, just with that that forming there and then it matching with the um, with the Milky Way across the sky, the core of it, which uh, really did work well. And I think the torch I was using was just a little $8 torch. Ah, now sharpening. Um, almost forgot an important step. Whoops. Um, I'll zoom in on me and I'll add a tiny bit of sharpness and then I'll mask out a little bit and then I'm going to do some noise reduction but it's not going to be a lot because if I do a lot you can see what happens to the image and it goes so soft compared to all of the stars that are in the sky when you do no noise reduction so I'm going to add a little bit of luminance, but not a lot. Um, the shot does have a bit of noise in it. Uh, that's just from the higher ISO and the, um, the shutter speed of 15 seconds. I was at f2.8. The Samyang lens doesn't actually record uh, focal length or aperture, but I was at 14 millimeters f2.8 on full frame. Um, and you could enhance, you could get an adjustment brush and enhance the waves or um, adjust, adjust the colors in the sand and the rocks and me and all that sort of stuff if you really wanted to um, but for this shot I'm very happy with it um, it's sharpened a little bit, it's got noise reduction just to clean it up a tiny bit but not lose detail in the stars and it's really popped on the Milky Way which is what I want so I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Um, please do let me know if you'd like other tutorials requested from me. Uh, please join the Facebook group, which is Lightroom Learning Center, just on Facebook. There's a link to it in the description below, underneath the video. And make sure you check out the website over at ryanfowler.photography. Uh, and I'll see you in the next